So, one of the very first things that uh, Legendary was supposed to do is that we paid for wheels that are chrome. And the chrome wheels on this are, uh, well, they're not very chrome. They're actually aluminum. And uh, so we, ne we never did get our wheels. And they finally, they gave us a bunch of excuses about how they were delayed in uh, shipping and how they arrived crushed uh, to their plant and uh, how they would get them to us. And it's been many months now. And uh, they finally told us that they would, after we had a lot of trouble getting a uh, uh, hold of them, they finally told us that we would be able to, um, they were going to pay us for them. And so we thought, well, okay, so we'll uh, get the check and uh, then we'll get the wheels put on it. And uh, that never materialized. The beginning of the video where you saw that uh, their phone numbers are out of service. Uh, we have not been able to uh, get a hold of them and so they do sign for their mail though and but they haven't gotten a hold of them. We actually contacted them and told them that we were going to uh, do this video, the documentary, because really we want to tell the truth on the documentary and I have not told 100% of the truth on uh, this vehicle so far because I did not want to um, wreck their name. I wanted to give them a chance to uh, take care of everything, but they have not. Uh, they have not done that. So now, um, you know, two weeks after the promised date of when we would post this video to them, we are actually uh, posting it. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of little things like the. This might be really hard to see up here, but uh, there you can see it. Uh, the paint right here, those are, those are, I believe they're called oversprays. And uh, we have some sections that are like that. When we had it detailed at first, they actually were uh, a little scared to, to work on it because the paint out here is a little bit um, thin and uh, that, that made them really nervous, uh, the detailer's nervous on working on it. Uh, we got stuff like uh, this right here, which is, it's a scratch on the paint from putting the, uh, the light on. And uh, then up here, interestingly enough, is a hair in the paint. And uh, another paint chip here. Uh, here we can see again the, um, or the luggage rack was cut and it's, uh, got uh, that problem of a little bit of rust. Now we have a bride's door in here and this bride's door is really cool because it allows us to, uh, it, it's a wider door. Uh, the way they said they manufactured it was to take two doors that are uh, both uh, Hummer doors and uh, cut one in half and then put them together and uh, to make this extra wide door, which is great for brides getting in and out with the big dresses and stuff like that. So that's all cool and everything. I really like that, but it has a problem. You can look back here at how close this is uh, on the door. And what actually happened on the trip on our way here is that my son opened the door when we were parked at the side of, uh, at a rest stop and uh, he's, he's not a big guy. He did it just like normal. He opened the door and it, uh, uh, because the vehicle was tilted a little bit, the uh, weight of the door opened it up and it came all the way out and it actually pinched at that point and marred the paint. So that's a design flaw. Uh, we talked to him about it. They didn't really want to do much about it and uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get anything now uh, out of them. We also have had some water leak problems from uh, this right here. It pulls really tight on, on the molding and, it, and since it's pulled so tight it actually uh, pulls it over this way. The seat here has uh, some braces under it and um, with 
anybody sitting on here at first what was happening was is it was actually pulling out and uh, we had to have new braces put on there so we've we've sunk uh, several thousand dollars into uh, repairs on this and haven't been able to get anything out of warranty I don't think we're gonna get anything at all I think that uh, we're pretty much screwed they're out of business they are uh, not responding to their phone calls uh, I did finally get their attorney's number. I have called him three times over three weeks and left three messages with no return calls. And uh, so, you know, I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, maybe hire a special investigator to uh, see if uh, they have any money. And if they do, then we sue them. If they don't have any money, then can't get blood out of a turnip. So this is... Um, Mistake number two in the limo company. First one was the money suck, which is still sucking money, the H1 limousine. And uh, although this has not been nearly as expensive a mistake, um, I didn't do due diligence on my part to figure out exactly how much, uh, well, they'd been in business for 17 years and that's one of the things that I went off of, but obviously I didn't know their financial condition. And I had a few other uh, limousine operators tell me that uh, they weren't the best company in the world to work with. I figured I had good communication with them and everything. Well, I had good communication with the salesman. And the salesman was wonderful. In fact, he left the company and he's, uh, he's a great guy. He uh, left before they closed. And I was a little bit surprised about that, but now I know why. He saw the writing on the wall and uh, still been in contact with him. Really nice guy, uh, but he's in another line of business now. And so that's, uh, <laughs> that's about it. I'm, I'm really displeased with uh, how Legendary Coachworks has uh, done their warranty. Probably they are out of business and can't afford to. So they owe us, uh, I estimate, over 5,000 bucks. So hopefully nothing else goes wrong on the car. You know, it's uh, been good. I, I like the car and everything. So, Legendary Coachworks, if uh, you'd like to uh, get a hold of us and take care of these issues, I would love to report in a follow-up video that everything was taken care of to our satisfaction and uh, that your company is doing an awesome job on uh, performing the warranty work and uh, taking care of it.